Before we begin, unzip the archive, with the template into the folder of your choice. You need to keep the structure of the files, and folders, the same as in the archive. Check the help file. In this file, you will find the links to the fonts you need to install, for the template to work properly. The help file also contains links to the music and images, used in the previews, and other useful materials. Importing Mogrid into Premiere Pro. Go to the Window menu, and open the Essential Graphics panel. Go to the Browse tab, at the top of the Essential Graphics panel. Click on the plus sign, at the bottom of this panel. In the Explorer window that opens, navigate to the folder, where the Mogrid file is located. Select the Mogrid file, and double-click on it. Your template is now in the library. What to do if you can't find a template in the library? Make sure, you are in the Browse tab. Make sure my Templates tab is selected. Use the scroll bar, to find your template. You can also set the file sorting method to Recent. In this case, the template that was last added to the library, will be displayed, at the top of the list. You can use the search function. Type the name, or one of the words from your template's name, into the search box, and press enter. The library list will display templates, that contain the words, from your query and their names. Operation and Customization The Mogrid Template Note, all templates operate in the same manner. These usually contain menus for editing text, logo, media files, and some other options. Select the template, and drag it to the timeline. Wait until the template loads, and the red screen disappears. Select the template on the timeline. In the Essential Graphics window, select the Edit menu. Global Controls The Global Controls menu, contains parameters, position, size, etc., that affect all elements of the template. Title Placeholders The Title Placeholders menu contains submenus for each title, Title Placeholder 1, Title Placeholder 2 etc. Here you will find options for adjusting the text. You can change the content of the text title, select the font, and font style, change the size and position of the title. Logo Placeholders The Logo Placeholders menu, contains options for customizing the logo. This feature may not be available in some templates. When you hover over the image in the Logo Placeholder tab, the size and width, and height of the placeholder for the media asset will appear. It is recommended that you use, a logo with a resolution at least as large as the placeholder size. Click on the three horizontal lines, on the right above the logo. In the Explorer window that opens, navigate to the folder where your logo is located. Select your logo file, and double click on it. Your logo should now appear in the logo placeholder window. You can choose one of the settings, of filling the image, in the logo placeholder. Adjust the size, position, and rotation angle of your logo. As well as other options in the logo placeholder tab, if available. The recommended image format, for the logo. PNG plus alpha channel, is the preferred option. This is what a logo image with the alpha channel looks like. This is what a logo without the alpha channel looks like. You can also use other image and video formats, supported by Premiere Pro. Media placeholders. The Media Placeholders menu, contains submenus for each media asset, Media Placeholder 1, Media Placeholder 2 etc. Here you will find options for customizing your media assets. This feature may not be available in some templates. When you hover over an image, in the Media Placeholder tab, the width and height size of the Media Placeholder, will be displayed. It is recommended, that you use an image or video, with a resolution no lower, than the size of the placeholder. Click on the three horizontal lines, on the right above the image. In the Explorer window that opens, navigate to the folder, where your image or video is located. Select your image file, and double click on it. Your image should now appear in the media placeholder window. You can choose one of the image filling modes, in the media placeholder. Adjust the position, size, and angle of your image. 
also adjust other settings on the media placeholder tab if available. Additional settings. A template can have additional settings, such as background color, color control, effect control, etc. You can also change or customize these settings. Thanks for watching.